Onk Live Insights is a video editorial program produced by Onk Live. The cancer type ID or the RT-PCR molecular cancer classifier has been validated by several methods. One method was actually looking at patients with known cancers. A group of pathologists published this data where they looked at patients with known cancer types and then did the cancer type ID in those patients. Uh, it was found that it was 90% accurate, uh, quite an accurate test uh, compared to uh, standard pathology. When one looks at immunohistochemistry, the uh, ability to determine the cancer type uh, at a 90% level is rare. It's not a perfect test, but 90% of cancers, it can tell us from the molecular test what type of cancer it is. There's a, a tremendous amount of clinical data looking at the cancer type ID in both prospective and retrospective studies. Several of these are now published. Probably the most important is a prospective study done by myself and colleagues on uh, close to 200 patients with cancer of unknown primary site. In that group of patients, we use the cancer type ID to determine the type of treatment to give to these patients. What we found compared to empiric chemotherapy, which we used consistently for many years prior to this, that there was about a 35% increase in the survival of these patients overall. More importantly, when one looks at the more treatable diagnoses made by the molecular test cancer type ID, the improvement in survival was about 75%. So the outcomes of patients with unclear or un unknown primary cancer diagnosed with this molecular test is improved by knowing what the cancer is and treating the patient according to their diagnosis rather than with empiric shotgun type therapy. In uh a study that was reported a couple of years ago uh, when they looked at patients whose tumors had no clear pathological diagnosis and they did the cancer type ID testing, they were able to identify molecular abnormalities in about 50% of the patients with lung cancer. In other words, they screened about 500 patients whose histological subtype was not clearly known and they narrowed down 70 patients to likely to have lung cancer, and when they did the molecular profiling for those patients, in about half of them, there was driver mutation. Now, not every driver mutation there is treatable with an approved therapy, but at least you know what the mutation type is, so that patient can either go on a clinical trial or focus on an approach that mo makes most sense for treating that particular individual. So I think that's the reason why this is a helpful tool in the hands of the physician. Molecular diagnostic testing is evolving and now is a part of several algorithms for patients with unknown or unclear diagnoses. One example is in the up-to-date literature, which many oncologists use on, online. If one looks at this and looks at patients with unknown primary cancer, uh, it is recommended that when patients' cancer type cannot be diagnosed, by immunohistochemistry and other clinical uh, means, uh, including standard pathology, that the a molecular cancer classifier, such as cancer type ID, be ordered in that, in that group of patients for their uh, evaluation of their biopsy specimens. Most of the time, a cancer type can then be identified and then one can ap apply site-specific treatment for those patients.